Rolling? What's going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have the distinct opportunity and privilege to check out for the very first time in my entire life a headless guitar. This is the Ibanez Q52PB. This is a great example of a headless guitar so it's a great place to start. Uh, first off let's talk about some of the specs and we'll get into some of the details after that. Uh, the PB in the name stands for Poplar Burl which is the Poplar Burl top. It's a Nyato body in black and you've got a bird's eye maple fingerboard. You've got a three-piece neck consisting of maple and babinga, and all the woods on the neck are roasted to make it nice and stable and sturdy, which is great. As far as the electronics, you've got a five-way selector switch. You've got a master volume, master tone. Then you have this other little switch here, which I think they call the alternative switch, this little toggle there, which essentially with that and the blade switch, you get a total of five distinctly different tones between the two humbuckers. Uh, these humbuckers are Ibanez branded humbuckers. I think they're QX series or something. And they sound decent. We'll talk about those a little more in a minute. Uh, this bridge here is the monotune bridge. That's Ibanez take on a headless guitar bridge. As far as tuning the guitar, you have to use these little tuners right here. You rotate them either clockwise or counterclockwise to get it in tune. It does have screws to adjust the intonation and it has the screws to adjust the saddle height. So it's really good. Get your setup however you want it. Okay, so now I want to talk about some of the neck specs here because this neck is really interesting. This is the Ibanez Wizard C-shaped neck. Not a Wizard 3, not a Wizard Prestige, and it really is a nice modern C shape. It's not too round, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's kind of just right. And as far as the thickness here, you've got 21 millimeters at the nut, uh, 22 millimeters at the 12th fret. The fretboard itself is a constant radius of 12 inches or 305 millimeters, which is very comfortable. I like that range of kind of like 12 to 14 range. Uh, so it's round enough to do your chord work and all that bar chords and stuff like that and flat enough to shred and do your bends and all that kind of stuff. So this really is one of those kind of Goldilocks type of necks. Um, it's just comfortable right off the bat. There's kind of no getting used to it. You just put it in your hand, start playing, it's great. Uh, there's no fret sprout at all, as you would expect from Indonesian made Ibanez. And the fret work on this is great. So when this guitar first dropped a couple of years ago, originally they were using um, Jeskar Evo gold frets. And I really wanted to try those. But unfortunately, they switched over about two years ago to stainless steel frets. So these are stainless steel, and I can't complain because I love stainless steel frets. I just kind of wanted to see the look and feel of the Evo Golds, but we'll get to that one day. Real quick, guys, I just want to mention that we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. So if you could do me a favor and annihilate that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll make sure that all of your wildest dreams will come true. Anyways, back to the guitar. So Ibanez does make another guitar that's very similar to this. It's also in their Q series line, their Quest line. Uh, it's the QX54. 
and that's the one that has the slanted frets. You may have seen it. The frets are all parallel, slanted equally eight degrees, which just helps to facilitate playing in the more traditional classical position, because as you can see, your fingers are like this and regular frets are like this. So those angled frets helps you to kind of, you know, just have an easier hand position. I don't mind having straight frets, I'm used to it. Plus I play on my right leg anyways, so not an issue for me. I did want to mention that the neck on the QX not only has the, the angled frets, it's also a much thinner neck too. It's the wizard parallel neck, it's called. So it's 19 millimeters all the way down, which hence it's, it's parallel, the, the bottom and the top of the neck of the other guitar. It's just straight all the way across. It's got a 20 inch radius all the way down, so it's very thin. It's very much geared toward the modern shredder or the person who plays in this classical position with their thumb all the way down in the back. You know, this is more for your everyday kind of, you know, guitarist. You want to play whatever you want to play, whatever your style of music is. This guitar is very easy and comfortable to play. So Black Friday's right around the corner. Christmas and the holidays aren't far behind. You've bought everybody else gifts. You've been good this year. Maybe you want to treat yourself, buy yourself a little gift. Maybe you want to get something like this. Now, I wouldn't recommend this as your first or second guitar. Uh, maybe your fourth or fifth, somewhere down the line. You want, you want to add something unique to the arsenal. But then again, if you're somebody who's just desperately in need of something that's more comfortable, uh, more portable, more lightweight, maybe you want to go for this first. I don't know. Either way, if you want to get more details about this guitar, I've got a link down below to Zounds.com. They've got this guitar in stock. It's currently retailing for $1,100 here in the U.S. And for that amount of money, these days, you expect a lot. You get a lot with Ibanez. Um, you get a lot of quality, well-made. Craftsmanship is top-notch. I found zero issues with this guitar other than the fact that I wish the intonation screws were a little bit longer. I'm sure that could be remedied somehow, but I was able to get it in tune and, and intonate it pretty well, so I really can't complain. I love this guitar. I really had a lot of fun checking this one out for you guys. And you can do that with this as well. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I'm out of here. See ya!